Jackass here. We arrived at Valcoinen Mach Airport. This is Forkball. Good job. Get the lay of the surroundings and continue with your mission. So, uh, how do you want us to proceed, O'Brien? Up to you. Do what you think is best. What took you two so long? At least we're here. What's up with Veltro? Not sure. We haven't found a thing. No clues, nothing. So now what? There's an underground chamber. We're preparing to storm it now. Wow, that sounds like a job for us, don't it, Grinder? Wait, we haven't received authorization yet. It's all right. We're on it, okay? Besides, if you need someone to sniff something out, ain't no one better than my boy here. Hey, I'm right here, Grinder. Uh, so, you follow Jessica home. You know where she lives now? Almost. I had her until the very end, but I lost her near the... Hey! You think I'm a stalker, don't you? <laughs> you said it. Come on, let's go. Feels like something's gonna jump out. Watch your footsteps. We need to stay quiet. Yeah, I know. What movie is this? Snow all around, a lonely outpost, and a creature attacking the staff. I said no movie talk. We might be able to open up that area that's been sealed off. Huh? The security cameras have got something. This is what I found from the security feeds. That's a freighter, ain't it? Is this Veltro or what? Whoa! Did you see that? Not control the OW? Talk about a wrench in the works. Keep it together and... Oh! They never had a chance. The timestamp places the crash at the same time as the one Chris reported. Is that in here? It certainly looks like that. Whoa! What the hell is it? It's a poltergeist! Hey, Quinn! I'll switch the feeds. See where it goes. Huh. We got a live one here. Shh! Quiet! Hey, what the hell was that? I told you to be quiet. Oh! Oh! oh there's something oh. there. I don't know what, but we can't see it. Oh! Uh. Oh, nasty. Hey, did he just drop something? This is definitely for mature viewing audiences. That's some shocking footage there. One of the Vicks left it behind. What is it? Hey, this is the place from the security feed. It's a security token. I can breach the master network of the plane's onboard computer if I can just extract the web key from this dongle. Whatever that means. Just do your thing. It means we can scavenge the data on that freighter. <laughs> now you're talking. I've seen enough. Let's head to the crash site. Well, well. Whoa, that's amazing. What the? So what the hell did you do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Hmm. Ah, don't tell me the battery's dead. Oh, this blows. The upside is this whole conspiracy is becoming clearer. We have to get back to the airport on the double. 
Hey, hey man, so hold up. Nobody's home. Even the other team's packed it in. So what are we doing here? <laughs> it's okay. I set up a back door. I can use any PDA to get us in. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? If my theory is correct, then the truth about Veltro is really... too early to say. Are you kidding me? I don't want to jump to conclusions. I need more intel. Let's find that computer. There's an area we haven't explored over here. My only hope is that it has a high-powered CPU. That would be tits. It's a BOW. I knew that was going to fall. They have it been the whole time. What? Who cares? Just shoot, goddammit! Someone they didn't want around if Feltro came back. So they had to shake this up. <laughs> no, now's not the time for conspiracy theories. Hmm? Is that a real in the flesh MB28? Grinder, it's what I always wanted. You take the gadgets like a flight of horse shit. It's just a computer. Okay, down to brass tacks. What the hell? Nothing's happening. What did you do, Quinn? It's not me. I need more power. The MB-28's a real gas guzzler. There's gotta be a generator around here. I need it. Okay. You stay here and spend quality time with your girlfriend. Here we go. I hope this rusty piece of crap works. There's not enough power to fully charge the MB-28. Are there any of the generators? <clears throat> All right, full power, initiate analysis. So you get anything? No, I gotta get through the layers of encryption on this thing first. But that should only take a few minutes with me and my baby MB-28. Ah, I'm on it. Leave these guys to me. Have a look at this data now. Ready? Hold your horses. I'll be there in a sec. Right, right. That explains it. Explains what? Who's behind Veltro? Yeah, probably. There's only one way to find out. Let's ask him ourselves. Uh, this is Forkball. O'Brien here. Huh? What the hell? O'Brien's our man? Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. Veltro was never back in action. It was all smoke and mirrors orchestrated by yourself. Your own little Veltro production. 
all to get into the head of one certain somebody. Ah, uh, you pretty much got it. I'm glad I'm not paying you for nothing. I analyzed his logs, sir, and there's something you may want to see. Then let me see it. Yes, sir. I'll send it immediately. What's going on? Connection error? Oh, we've been detected! Hey, quit! Two boys, uncovering secrets, wanted dead or alive, just like a falcon and a snowman! You wanna die with your machines, idiot? Dude, hold up! I'm on! Lucky to be afloat. Take us around. Let's find a boarding point. Ninety-four minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them... Right here on this ship. been abandoned for a while. Ugh, it smells like rotting flesh. No signs of life. But I feel like something's here. Hey! What happened? I don't think we're alone. There's blood coming from the ducks. Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. So, it's not Chris.
This explains our missing crew. This is not good. Where are you, Chris? Think these things got to Chris and Jessica? I hope not. Hey, no one's saying Chris is dead. All right, then let's find him already. You hear that? Was that the lock? I'll check it out. Okay, I'll see what I can find here. Copy that. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. I found Chris, but he's trapped in there. Can you get him out? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. Okay, then let's find it. I found a survivor. The B.O.W.'s got her, though. Who was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. <laughs> Parker, I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Let's try it out. I'll meet you in the Chris's room. See you there. Jill! Come on. We gotta help Chris. Chris! Chris? What is this? I don't know. A room, I think. Somewhere on the ship. Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No. Comms are out, it seems. We should regroup. Jill, are you okay? I'm fine, but the ship's crawling with B.O.W.'s. Okay, we're going to need our weapons. I think I saw them on my way here, but I couldn't reach them. We should be okay as long as we work together. Equipment. Now what? 
Now we contact HQ and tell them what the hell is going on. We should be able to do that from the bridge. Let's go. I'm at the bridge. We can't change our course. We're completely adrift. This is recent. The perpetrator can't be far. Don't tell me that was the tugboat. Shit, we'll be stuck here. Women. Drop yours, Parker. Who the hell are you? Raymond. That's you, isn't it? <laughs> the BSAA. A little too late. What is the FBC doing here? <laughs> Answer me, Raymond. I don't have to answer anything. It's... You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. We've got to... Give it a rest. I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Raymond! Stop right there! Nothing will change unless you get your hands dirty. So the FBC is on this ship too. What's going on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. Not that I relish the idea. We should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. Go to the emergency community. Maybe try to contact HQ. Alright, we got to find Ray. How do you know him? I used to work with him. Let's leave it at that. to the emergency communication room? Yeah. Let's leave this monster infested hellhole. Raymond! 
Looks like we both were too late. What are you talking about? Huh. Ignorant creatures who do not yet know of us. The time both of you. Has come. Look. Thou wilt be thy renewal. The desperate grief wrings my heart already. Little masked friend. words be seed that may bear fruit of infamy to the traitor whom I know. Speaking and weeping shalt thou see together. I know not who thou art, nor by what mode thou hast come down here. The world is in our hands. This is the tea of this virus, and we are equipped to infect one-fifth of the Earth's waters. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Abandon hope? He's quoting Dante. Send a team to Valcoin and Mach Airport. Look for something linked to this ship, O'Brien. Yes, I read you. I'll send Quint and Keith. What? You two, get ready to move. Ah, I hate snow. Snow hates you. Just find out anything you can on Veltro. Mediterranean was just like a big lake. Be patient. Finding a ship at sea is like finding a needle in a haystack. No kidding. But that still doesn't solve our problem. Hey, are you even listening? We'll find you, Jill. I promise. Looks like you missed a few. And they're on this ship. And now they want to use the virus to stage another attack. They seek the truth about Terra Grigia and vengeance. Jill, look at this. The whole ship's out of power. The ship's running on emergency power. But the comm system needs the main power. We need to bring the engine room back online. That won't be easy. Raymond! Take it. You might need it. Like you said, turning on the power won't be easy. That key will get you through the casino on the first floor. Then you'll find a lift to take you to the bilge. But tell me something first. You didn't see any other FPC members here, did you? I can't reach my partner, Rachel. Damn it. I haven't heard from her since you went to the bilge. Should we look for this Rachel woman? We can, but after we bring back the ship's power. Been infected. Watch out! I saw it was in the video. The beast is our friend in the gas mask. Oh, thank you. Finally quieted down a little. 
The key's gone. I'll look around for it. Okay. I'll check around here, see if it turns up. Radio me if you find it. Didn't Raymond say his partner was in the bilge? That means Rachel or whoever has the key. We just have to find her. I think I might have an idea where she is. That corpse you ran into earlier? Yeah, I just pray it wasn't her. wrong i found the target but she's a zombie isn't that always the case She's in the ducks! <laughs> Go after her! She could have the key! The ducks are all connected! Okay, I'm on it. I'll make my way to your position soon. So it really was Rachel. The night before. Does this mean Veltro fooled the FBC too? Don't know. Maybe they're just using whoever they can. Right now, we need to worry more about getting this ship operational. Hear something. Straight into the depths of hell. Somebody! Anybody! I'll be at your service! There has to be a way! Close for comfort. It's still filling up. The power's back. We can bring down a boat and into control room. The power's back. We can use it. All right. That should hold us for now. 
I'll check the control system. Damn it, I don't have a signal. Maybe the antenna array is out. It's on the observation deck. Maybe we can fix it. I'm sure the view is nice. Me too. Let's move. Did that stop it? Want to steal? It's okay. The bulkhead's closed. We just have to wait. No. We're on the Queen Samiramis. Okay, well, Quint learned there were two ships during his investigation. You must be on the Queen Zenobia's sister ship. Jill and Parker are probably being held on that ship. Have you been able to locate it? No, but I've got my top people on it. How much time has passed, right? Correct. It's possible that up until a few hours ago, the ships were traveling together. Search the area and see what you can find. Roger that. Any idea what Velcro is trying to do? Aside from jerking us around so we don't know what we're doing. Who knows? We haven't seen hide nor hair from them since that video. Yeah, I don't like it. The sooner we get to the observation deck and contact HQ, the better. At the very least, I hope they've picked up Chris's whereabouts. Is it gone? Are we in the clear? <sighs> All right, we're finally here. And it's night out, so there's nothing to see. Pain in the ass piece of shit. What a night. Uh, good to take in the fresh air. We got a lot more than we bargained for on this ship. Yeah. We've been fighting for our lives this whole time. I hope we can catch our breaths after checking in with HQ. I'll check the antenna's wiring. I think that should do it. We'll give it a shot. I hope it works. This is Vermilion. 
Headquarters, do you read? O'Brien here. Are you two all right? We did it. Boss, it's Parker. Shit hit the fan here. It hit really hard. I know. The whole thing was a setup, and we fell for it. How do you know? How do you know it's a setup? What is it, boss? Say something! Just stay put. I've got an emergency call. No, wait! Director O'Brien, we've received an emergency call from the ESF. They've reported satellite movement. The European Security Force? Go on. Yes, sir. Apparently Terra Grigia's solar energy integrator is being reactivated. Already in motion, are we? Looks like somebody's found the Queen Zenobia. You haven't changed a bit. Parker! HQ, what's going on? All hell's about to break loose. The solar energy matrix has activated. They're aiming at the Veltro hideouts on the Mediterranean, disguised as cruise ships. Satellites that destroyed Terra Grigia. Are right above us. They can't just ignore the ultimatum and obliterate the ship. Boss, get us out of here. <sighs> Sorry. But I can't authorize that. Sir, what is going on? You're out of time, I'm afraid. A rescue just isn't possible. Chris is traveling by sea. He won't reach you in time. Chris? He's all right? No time to explain. I'll do what I can to stop the attack. O'Brien out. This is the worst day of my life. Jackass here. The Chief has filled me in on your predicament. There's only one thing you can do. Confuse the satellite's targeting system. And how the hell do we do that? I know everything about that ship. I can figure this out. Just get back inside for now. I'll radio you again soon. Damn it. It's stopped. I know what you have to do. You're gonna use the UAV. The UAV? There's a drone plane on this ship? Yep, Veltro used it to carry out their attacks last year. It's in a container on the foredeck. The UAV can discharge chaff that will throw off the satellite's targeting system. Okay, and the foredeck is where we're going. You better move fast, Quint, out. Yes, I see. I'll do what I can to stop the Ricky. I have to go. Do you want to die with Velcro or do you want to live? Head to the foredeck. I'll do what I can here. Some peace and quiet. Over here. Thank God. Huh. What could the PSAA want with me? has it been? One whole year? I hate to disappoint, 
but you're too late. We need this launched as far as possible. All set to go. Better late than never. Quint, we're good to go. Okay. The remote pilot controls are in the ship's hold. That's why it's remote. Go through the side deck to get to the hold. You could have told us. Jeez. You're wondering why I've deployed Regia Solis? Yes. What's got you spooked? Isn't it a little premature to call down the wrath of God? <laughs> Satellite targeting system. Enter authorization. The time has come, O'Brien. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Authorization approved. Firing laser. I've calculated how much time you have. Sending it now. Are we going to make it? Keep going. Trying to play with monster. Bullshit, Morgan. You're playing with fire again. But this time, you will get burned. Loose ends can only exacerbate the situation. Think twice, Director. Or you may regret it. Ah, boy. You never disappoint, Morgan. But once we have the truth, your mistakes will never be repeated. Fast. We're approaching the Queen Zenobia now. 
Rendezvous at the ship's hall. Roger. We'll be waiting. Okay. See you soon. Chris out. Hear that? There. Veltro! You almost missed the party. We're approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous at the ship's hall. Roger. We'll be waiting. Okay. See you soon. Chris out. That's it. Queen Zenobia. Oh, jeez. More like what's left of her. Stay sharp. There's something out there. to board the Zenobia. We can board from here. Jessica, we have a promise to keep. Let's go. Great. A cruise, just the two of us. Only the whole thing is sinking. Friendly BSAA patrons, you stopped the Regia Solis. Now I will reveal what I know. Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secrets she keeps. What secrets? Consider this. First, why did it take till now to find the Queen Zenobia? How was it able to float around the Mediterranean undetected? It wasn't magic. Second, why did all traces of Veltro vanish after the Terragrigia panic? Why don't you tell us, huh? Huh. <laughs> and third, why is someone trying to use the Regia Solus to destroy the Zenobia? The answer to those questions will lead you to an inconvenient truth. You were to have found it, and that... <laughs> Jessica, why did you fire? To protect our people. Isn't that our job? <clears throat> Don't you dare die. <clears throat> Damn. Raymond? What? Why? Why play the part of Veltro? <clears throat> ship doesn't have much longer. We can't let this virus contaminate the sea. We've already searched the Queen Samiramis. So I think I know where this ship's lab is. We're headed there now. All right. I'll try to find a way to delay the sinking. Jessica, you with me? Yeah. Well, a little friendly partner swapping should keep us on our toes. Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. You two buy us some time. Got it. Jill, this works anywhere, even underwater. It should slow those things down. Thanks, Chris. Also, I've marked off all the possible locations for the lab. <laughs> he 
never got the hint. What a drag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. So this was all Raymond's doing? No. We've only heard half the story. There's a lot about this mission that doesn't make sense yet. Hurry! We can cut through the bilge to get to the lab. Careful. The water is infested with infected. Roger that. Jill, try using this. I found that key on the Samiramis. The ships are exactly the same, and the lab should be this way. Now sterilizing. Please wait. I'm fine. Why try to hide these facilities on a cruise ship? It makes a good cover. Who would ever suspect it? Good point. I hope we can find out what the hell's going on. The virus is somewhere in this research area. So this is the secret of Zenobia. the virus. We need to stop the virus from getting out. I know. The control system must be in the lab. <laughs> I think this is the lab's control system. Does it work? We need a passcode to activate the neutralizing agent. Okay, I'll sweep the lab, see what I can find. Good. Need some time to figure out these controls. Uh, huh? I told you to be careful. Who knows what kind of B.O.W.s we're up against. Chris, you're not going to believe what I just learned. Morgan Lansdale of the FBC was behind the attacks on Terra Grigia. So that's what Raymond was talking about. Seems like it. All I have is circumstantial evidence. Nothing to nail him for it yet. Wait. Download complete. 
complete. Get back here now! Jill, you okay? Yeah, for now. Jill. I got the passcode. Good work. Now let's neutralize that virus. Authorization confirmed. Initiating virus neutralization program. Done, BSAA. Your activities have been eye-opening. Morgan Lansdale. I knew O'Brien's dog brain were snipping around my business. I didn't account for your involvement, however. That was my only mistake. So it was you. You attacked Terra Grigia. Joe, look out. Looks like my mistakes are out to be ready. Neutralization complete. Ah, uh, I should have expected as much from the duo who brought down Umbrella. However, your days of playing cops and robbers are over. Huh. I do hope you understand the gravity of my making a personal appearance. I have a great weakness. I am fearful of things. Even little things and must clean up every last imperfection. The BSAA, my dear Director O'Brien, your whole organization, you cause nothing but trouble. Surely you didn't expect me to just let you snoop around unbridled. Don't kid yourselves. Have a look. Your destiny is in my hands. What the? Queen Zenobia. <laughs> he never got the hint. What a drag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. Yeah, sure. Can we get started already? Sure. We've been through hell before. It's nothing new for us. Yeah, just like old times. The good old FBC. So, what's the plan? Get to the bridge, activate the bulwarks, and pray the ship stops sinking. Now that the power's back, we should be able to access the maintenance system. Okay. We should split up then. There's something I need to check on first. Okay, fine. I'll see you on the bridge. O'Brien here. Did Raymond tell you everything? Yeah, he told me, boss. And you know what you have to do. O'Brien out. It's a new type. Damn these creatures. Always showing up at the worst times. I'm 
almost at the bridge. I'm already here. I'm going to start lowering the bulwarks. That was fast. You're just slow. And you owe me another dinner. And that reminds me, I never got you that drink. That was a year ago. That's fine. You can make it all up to me in one big spending spree. <laughs> okay, fine. Just sit tight and I'll be there soon. Hold it right there. Parker? The spy has infiltrated the BSAA. Morgan's more. And it may be you. That's what Raymond told me. What are you talking about? We don't have time to... Parker, subdue that woman. Raymond? How? Oh. But you... You were... <laughs> She's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence. What? <laughs> Guys, this is getting out of hand. Not funny. Come on. Say something. Parker, it's me! I can't trust you completely. Not yet. Put your gun down, Raven. Yeah, you're too soft! Don't be fooled, Parker. Stupid men. I knew O'Brien had a lap dog. I'll tell Morton it was you. <laughs> Jessica! Don't worry about dinner. Now we're even. I'm sorry, Parker. Go after her. But you... Zenobia. Self-destruct sequence initiated. All personnel evacuate immediately. This sequence cannot be aborted. Repeat. Checkmate. It appears my bright young assistant has made the last move. Now, have I made things clear to you? Clear as day. Now we finally have a target. Start counting, Morgan. <laughs> Not the most original last words, but best of luck, gentlemen. Chris! Right. First, we gotta get out of here. This is Hattrick, crook here at your service. I'm on standby over the Queen Zenobia, rendezvous on the foredeck. There's not much time, so get moving. Repeat, this is Hattrick. Joe, this way! Chris! I'm okay, but I can't get through. I'll find a way around and meet up with you. Can you stand, Parker? Thanks, Gia. Jessica shot me. She's working for Morgan. Don't 
Jessica. Don't get cocky. Chris, I'll explain later. Just back me up for now. I'll take the lead. Follow me.
kill it. That's all she wrote for the Zenobia. It's me. What's happening? On our way out. We lost Parker. Jessica took the whole ship down. The FBC? Well, Morgan. He was one step ahead of us the whole way. Yes, I see. I hate to think this could all be a mistake. My mistake. Clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. All right. It all started one year ago. Right there, Terra Grecia. Jessica has escaped. We were so close. Hey, I'm sorry, Raymond. You were right all along. Thank God somebody was on top of things. Don't be so hard on yourself, Parker. Now it's my turn to save you. Come on, we're getting out of here. That's the spirit, Cadet. Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed, so we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout, the coordination of the ships, all to put heat on Morgan. But sir, couldn't you have at least told us? I couldn't risk it, not with a mole inside the BSAA. My apologies. All that work, in both the Zenobia and the Samiramis. Yeah, I know, but I haven't given up yet. Keith and Quinn, they've left us with an ace in the hole. The data analysis they sent us, the results are in. Well, what were they? We assumed Veltro made use of two sister ships in the Terra Grigia panic. But there was a third. The final queen. The final queen. Yes, Queen Dido. She's been resting on the ocean floor since that day. Which means we'll find her. A Terra Grigia. Exactly. We have a responsibility to see this mission through. O'Brien out. We're taking this show over. The BSAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien, you are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. Chris, Jill, you're our only hope. There it is. 
remains of Terra Grigia. And the Queen Dido. Approaching drop-off point. There's still air. Who's that? He hasn't been dead for long. He's FBC. There's something in his hand. This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team, everyone on my team is dead killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Veltro, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us, even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Lots of revenge kept them alive. Oh my god. Thank you. 
we accept our wrongdoing and transmute our flesh in remembrance of our sins. But for you, Morgan, never shall there be rest. We rise from the dead. A spirit callous and immutable force. <laughs> All of our interactions are right in here. We shall become guardians of the truth for as many years as it may take. Jack Norman was the head of Veltro. And he has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. Oh, how much oughtest thou? By each one to be dreaded, who doth read that which was manifest unto mine eyes. Pape Satan, Pape Satan. Each one shall find again his dismal tomb, shall reassume his flesh. Morgan! Morgan Lansdale! How dare you cross Veltro! Morgan, this is what you seek, is it not? <laughs> Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. All the truth needed to bring down your entire charade. <laughs>
is how Morgan treats his friends. I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. The means of dispersion? The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Very well. Now show me the goods. Bonafide tea abyss. No vaccine. Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. Who would have thought, yes? That the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC. As you can see, it's not likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA, and perhaps you as well. We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Director O'Brien, surely you understand our dilemma. Without the Terra Grigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. The world required my guidance. It was all for the greater good. You're only fooling yourself. You said yourself, abandon hope, all ye who enter here. But I'm not Dante, and you're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale. You are hereby relieved of your position as FBC Commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Veltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia Panic. With all due respect, Director O'Brien, the BSAA is making a huge mistake. Where have I heard that before? We can finally reveal what happened to Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now, but how long will it last? Morgan Lansdale, you are hereby relieved of your position as FBC Commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Veltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia Panic. With all due respect, Director O'Brien, the BSAA is making a huge mistake. Where have I heard that before? We can 
finally reveal what happened to Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? Was too easy, wasn't it? The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You file the report on this. By the way, why save Parker? I have my reasons. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. The fun's just getting started. survived. You. Are you saying I was manufactured? I was to become a god. <laughs> Creating a new world with an advanced race of human beings. However, all was lost with Raccoon City. Despite that setback, your creation still holds great significance. <coughs> now my candle burns dimly. <coughs> Ironic, isn't it? For one who has the right to be a god. 
face is a mortality. The right to be a god. That right is now mine. The right to be a god. You. Arrogant even until the end. Only one truly capable of being a god deserves that right. SAA received intel as to the whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. Jill and I were ordered by the BSAA's European headquarters to apprehend him. We accepted that mission in the hopes of uncovering some info that would lead us to Wesker. Chris to HQ, come in. We're at the target's location. Copy that, Chris. Move in and procure the target. Roger that. What can you tell us about the area? The satellite scan isn't showing anything out of the ordinary, but regardless, you should expect the unexpected. Understood. We're in. Let's move. And when have we ever been that lucky?
Okay. Chill. Okay. 
それは地中海沿岸のメガフロートテラグリジアで発生した2004年のことだ無人飛行機から降り注いだ T ・アビスウイルスの雨と生物兵器の市街地投入によりテロリストは海上のユートピアをこの世の地獄へと想像し直した犯行声明を出した組織はダンテ・アリギエイリの新曲に現れる偉大なるグレイハウンドになぞらえ自らをベルトルと名乗った国際的には無名のテロリストがいかにしてバイオ兵器を入手するに至ったのかその経緯は今もって不明だこの当時ベルトロについて我々には学生運動が先鋭化したゲリラグループ程度の知識しかなかったのだ声明文によれば開発反対を訴えてのテロ行為であるとされたが果たしてそれは真実だったのだろうか我々にもはや知るすべはない世界の価値観を変貌させたこの未曾有のバイオテロはマスメディアによりテラグリジアパニックと銘打たれ報道されたテラグリジアの名は悲しみとともに人々の心に永遠に刻まれたのだあれから1年 BSAA に信憑性の高い機関からある情報がリークされたそれは近日起こりうるテロ計画の存在を信じるに足る内容だったそしてそこにはベルトロの関与を疑う余地があるというありえない話だ公式発表では潜伏先を特定した FBC の掃討作戦により主たるベルトロメンバー全員の死亡が確認されたとされているからだだが実のところ唯一例外が存在する実質的指導者と目されるジャック・ノーマンこの男の死体は今をもって確認に至っていないとの話があるのだこの件は決して公にされていない情報だ圧倒的なカリスマによりベルトロを統率していたと言われるジャック・ノーマン犯行声明時に彼が残した映像は偉大なる殉教者として一部のマニアの間で深刻化され今も動画共有サイトなどで配信されることすらあるいずれにせよ我々は即座に行動を開始する必要がある情報の真偽は我々の手で突き止めればよい悲劇を二度繰り返すわけにはいかないのだ面談記録対象者ジェシカ・シェラワット製薬企業連盟特別監査官により録音今回のミッションに関わるエージェントについて教えてほしいの主観的になって構わないうん感じたままでいいわクリス・レッドフィールド BSAA 設立時メンバーであるオリジナルイレブンの一人卓越した射撃能力と近接戦闘格闘術アメリカ空軍に在籍していたこともあり航空機の操縦技術も持ち合わせている彼とチームを組んだことはないわこのミッションが初めてよでも敵役だと思いません彼の背中を私が守り私の背中を彼が守るジェシカ無事かえクリス問題ないわまるでハリウッド映画のワンシーン次は彼の経歴について聞かせて<笑>了解クリスのバイオ兵器との戦いは1998年アンブレラ・アークレー研究所で起こった T ウイルスの漏洩事件通称洋館事件に始まるラクーン市警察のスターズ時代ね連盟が重要視した彼の経歴の一つよ彼は現実のヒーローマントとマスクはしてないけど歴戦に次ぐ歴戦の末も彼は必ず生き残ったそしてその度に戦果を上げついにアンブレラを壊滅させたその経歴は BSAA 内でもトップクラス製薬企業連盟の一員として彼には感謝しているわ
彼がアンブレラを追い詰めなかったら我々の問題はさらに大きくなっていただからこそ連盟は BSAA を組織しそのメンバーにクリスを招聘したとそうね私たちにはバイオテロに対することのできる組織が必要だった技術を有する者の責任としてねジル・バレンタイン彼女もオリジナルイレブンの一人でありクリス同様スターズ出身重火器の扱いに長け実戦もそつなくこなしキーピックで簡単な鍵ならこじ開けることもできる<笑>そうそう爆発物処理のスキルも持っていると聞きました正直ジルの優等生っぽいところはちょっと苦手でも彼女のスキルは尊敬に値すると思っています仕事は友達付き合いとは違うからそれで問題ないでしょいいわ成果を上げてくれれば我々として問題は何もないジル・バレンタインはラクーンシティ壊滅事件の数少ない生存者の一人なんでしょええ洋館事件後彼女はラクーンシティに残り独自調査を続けたラクーンシティ全体がバイオハザードに見舞われたのはその2ヶ月後よもっとも公式発表からは T ウイルスのことはきれいに抹消されていましたがあの当時バイオ兵器の存在が公になることは誰にとっても都合が悪かったのよ誰にとってももちろんそれは政府にも適用される滅菌作戦と称して政府が発射したミサイルが町を消滅させたのは彼女がラクーンシティを脱出した直後彼女はきっとあの光景を一生忘れることはできないと思うあなたも同じ経験をしたからそうねでも私はあの時無力感しか感じることができなかったわパーカール・チアーニ FBC 上がりのエージェントよじゃああなたと同じね彼は FBC からの同僚だから良くも悪くもって意味でよく知ってる彼は頑固で融通きかなくて不適切な表現でごめんなさいはっきり言っちゃえばクソ不器よなるほどそれで彼はなぜ BSAA にパーカーが BSAA に移籍したのは1年前きっかけはもうお分かりとは思いますがテラグリジアパニックが原因よ現場で下されたあの決定が FBC のメンツを守るためでもあった事実を否定できず彼は悩んでいた酒を浴び自分を失わせてやり過ごそうとしていた時期もあったでも彼がたどり着いた結論はより人々を守るための戦いをするため BSAA に移籍することだったの確かにクソ不器用ねそこが可愛いところでもあるんですけど本当に。キース・ラムレイとクエント・ケッチャムこの二人は一緒の方が説明しやすいわ問題ないわワンセットでインドアとアウトドア思考派と行動派慎重派と大胆派彼らを理解するにはおよそ思いつく限りの正反対の対義語を並べてみてください情報分析を専門とし機械オタクのクエントと特殊傭兵部隊での戦歴を持ち実戦で鍛えたキース二人はいつも意見が合わず口喧嘩しているように見えるけど彼らが実力を最も発揮するのは二人を組ませた時互いの欠点を自然と補うと理想的なチームねこの今回の作戦指揮は彼が直接取っているわだからみんなちょっとピリピリしてる。珍しいわね今まで彼が表立って指揮を取るなんてほとんどなかったはず彼は自分が目立つことを好まないの右手の行いは左手に知らせるなオブライエの口癖よまたいでん六章三節ね栄光を求める動機はそれ自体不純であるそれだけじゃない賢者は沈黙を貫くひょうひょうとした態度でかわし手の内は明かさない服装もラフでいつもだらしない感じだけど
実はああ見えて老廃なのよ出なければ BSAA を率いることは難しいわ確か彼はテラグリジアパニック時に BSAA で唯一現地派遣されていたはずね解決方法をめぐって FBC 側と確執があったとも聞いてるけどどうでしょうね少なくとも現場の指揮権はあくまで FBC 側にあったオブザーバーとしてのオブラインへの意見はほぼ無視されていたと言っていいわ FBC についても話してくれるええ合衆国の対バイオテロ部隊であるフェデラルバイオテロリズムコミッション通称 FBC の長官モルガン・ランズディール初代長官にして現在に至るまで唯一の長官よつまり FBC における彼の権力は絶対的独裁的とも言えるわ FBC ではどんな些細な事象もモルガンを通さなければ動くことすらできない逆に彼しか知らない事実も山ほどあるでしょうけどでも結果から言えば今や FBC は世界最大の対バイオテロ組織バイオテロの脅威を知った世論を味方につけ大幅な組織強化を議会に承認させたそれもモルガン・ランズ・ディールという強固な意志があってこそ成し得たとも言えるわ FBC 所属エージェントのレイモンド・ベスター私とパーカーが FBC にいた頃はまだ新人で可愛い後輩って感じだったわ今も時々噂は聞くけどあまりいい話は聞かないわね強引な捜査現地警察に対しても排他的で非協力的 BSAA の活動を妨害したことも一度や二度じゃないと聞いてるそうみたいねこっちに移籍してから彼とは連絡取っていないのだからそれ以上のことは私もわからないわ見解は興味深いわあなた自身のことを理解する上でも非常に参考になったどういたしましてご褒美はそうねこないだ出した休暇申請の受理でお願い<笑>いいわホームワークの提出が条件よわおここってハイスクールだったのねじゃあ交渉成立素晴らしい報告を期待してさてと世の中にはろくでもないことが莫大な利益を生み出すことがある人間の本質がろくでもないからかもしれないけどウイルス兵器もその一つだ T ウイルスこの名前に聞き覚えのある人も多いだろう巨大製薬企業であったアンブレラ社が開発したこのウイルス兵器は業界ではそれほどまでに有名だ T ウイルスには感染した生体の遺伝子を組み替える特異な性質があるその最たる例が通称ゾンビと呼ばれる人体への感染現象だろうこの悪夢のウイルスが開発された真の目的は T ウイルスの力で遺伝子操作を施した BOW と呼ばれる生物兵器の製造とそれによる軍需産業の独占支配にあるハンターネメシスタイラントこれまでにも数々の BOW が開発されてきた研究者たちの悪なき向上心はこの言葉が適切かどうかはさておきとどまることを知らないアンブレラ社がすでに崩壊した今日も世界のどこかでウイルス兵器の研究と開発は進められているはずだそして T ウイルスの改良型と呼ぶにふさわしいウイルス兵器が誕生したそれがテラグリジアパニックで使用された T アビスである T アビスは深海探査で発見された新種のウイルス G アビスと T ウイルスを遺伝子交配させた
新型ウイルス兵器だティアビスは現段階でまだ謎の多いウイルスである私はその貴重な感染ケースに関するデータを入手する機会に恵まれた<音声>ウーズティアビス感染者はこう呼ばれる滴る者の意味を込めて命名した研究員の感性には同意するが彼らの風貌はまるでふやけた水死体よウーズの特異性は何より神出鬼没であること彼らは身体の軟体性を駆使してさまざまな隙間や空間から移動し獲物を追い詰めるその行動パターンは予測不能だウーズの行動原理は水分の枯渇に起因する本能的欲求にある体内の T アビスが増殖の際過剰に体液を消費するためと想定される肉を食らうのではなく獲物の血を体液をむさぼりすするところが T ウイルス感染者のゾンビと大きく異なる点として挙げられる<笑>このキルのような口内の器官が吸血のために進化した舌よ獲物を捕獲するとウーズはこの舌を食いつかせて体液を吸引する舌の先端表層には数百もの細かな牙があり一つ一つが別個に稼働この無数の牙で獲物の皮膚を切り裂き獲物の血液を体液を食らい尽くすのだこれはスキャグデッドと呼ばれる感染者の突然変異種だこのケースは通常より強いウイルス耐性を有する個体で発現するウイルスが通常より長時間かけて侵食した結果特殊な変異を遂げると考えられているその割合はおよそ1000人に1人ほんとラッキーにも程がある残念ながらいえ幸運にもおかしい彼の意識はない回路をつなぎ損ねた機械人形のように意味をなさぬ言葉を繰り返しつぶやき続けるだけだ耐久力は極めて高いレベルといえる肥大化した体表面が活動に必要な重要臓器の損傷を最小限に抑える効果をもたらしているんだ感染者の突然変異種のデータその2シークリーパーは文字通り彗星のクリーチャーである水中は彼女の独断状だそうイブと呼ばれるシークリーパーへの変異は XX 型染色体保有の女性感染者の一部にのみ発現する水中を忍び寄ったシークリーパーはウイルスの影響で増殖した6本の腕で獲物を捕獲し体全体で接触する彼女の法要から逃れる術は皆無水中に潜むシークリーパーの存在を見分けることは難しいだがバイオスケナーを駆使すればその存在を探ることができるかもしれない以上が私が得られた T ・アビスウイルスのデータよ入手できたのはあくまで感染ケースについてのみであり兵器開発された BOW についての存在の確認には至らなかっただがこれまでの経緯からして生物兵器の研究開発がすでに進められていたであろうことは想像に難くない海洋生物の遺伝子影響を色濃く反映した新型 BOW との遭遇は我々にとっても未知のものとなるだろう現在のところ T アビスの実践データは皆無に等しい手に入れられたならば研究は飛躍的進歩を遂げるはずだジェシカ・シェラワットえどうかしら素晴らしい報告かはわからないけど後で送るわごめんなさいそろそろ待ち合わせの時間少しは休暇を楽しませてええそれじゃあ
バイオ兵器に利用価値を見出す人々がいる限り私たちの仕事に終わりはない今日の休暇は終わりまた新たな任務が始まるそう明日にでも。世界の価値観を変貌させたこの未曾有のバイオテロはテラグリジアパニックと銘打たれ報道されたジル・バレンタインオリジナルイレブンの一人でありスターズ出身正直ジルの優等生っぽいところはちょっと苦手でも彼女のスキルは尊敬に値すると思っていますティーアビス感染者はこう呼ばれるその行動パターンは予測不能だにおける彼の権力は絶対的独裁的とも言えるわ FBC ではどんな些細な事象もモルガンを通さなければ動くことすらできない逆に彼しか知らない事実も山ほどあるでしょうけどでも結果から言えば今や FBC は世界最大の対バイオテロ組織バイオテロの脅威を知った世論を味方につけ大幅な組織強化を議会に承認させたそれもモルガン・ランズ・ディールという強固な意志があってこそ成し得たとも言えるわ FBC 所属エージェントのレイモンド・ベスター私とパーカーが FBC にいた頃はまだ新人で可愛い後輩って感じだったわ今も時々噂は聞くけどあまりいい話は聞かないわね強引な捜査現地警察に対しても排他的で非協力的 BSAA の活動を妨害したことも一度や二度じゃないと聞いてるそうみたいねこっちに移籍してから彼とは連絡取っていないのだからそれ以上のことは私もわからないわありがとうあなたの見解は興味深いわあなた自身のことを理解する上でも非常に参考になったどういたしましてご褒美はそうねこの間出した休暇申請の受理でお願い<笑>いいわホームワークの提出が条件よわおここってハイスクールだったのねじゃあ交渉成立素晴らしい報告を期待してさてと世の中にはろくでもないことが莫大な利益を生み出すことがある人間の本質がろくでもないからかもしれないけどウイルス兵器もその一つだ T ウイルスこの名前に聞き覚えのある人も多いだろう巨大製薬企業であったアンブレラ社が開発したこのウイルス兵器は業界ではそれほどまでに有名だ T ウイルスには感染した生体の遺伝子を組み換える特異な性質があるその最たる例が通称ゾンビと呼ばれる人体への感染現象だろうこの悪夢のウイルスが開発された真の目的は T ウイルスの力で遺伝子操作を施した BOW と呼ばれる生物兵器の製造とそれによる軍需産業の独占支配にあるハンドネムシスタイラントこれまでにも数々の BOW が開発されてきた研究者たちの悪なき向上心はこの言葉が適切かどうかはさておきとどまることを知らないアンブレラ社がすでに崩壊した今日も世界のどこかでウイルス兵器の研究と開発は進められているはずだそして T ウイルスの改良型と呼ぶにふさわしいウイルス兵器が誕生した
それがテラグリジア それは地中海沿岸のメガフロートテラグリジアで発生した。2004年のことだ。無人飛行機から降り注いだティアビスウイルスの雨と生物兵器の市街地投入により、テロリストは海上のユートピアをこの世の地獄へと想像し直した。反
ウーズの行動原理は水分の枯渇に起因する本能的欲求にある体内の T アビスが増殖の際過剰に体液を消費するためと想定される肉を食らうのではなく獲物の血を体液をむさぼりすするところが T ウイルス感染者のゾンビと大きく異なる点として挙げられる<笑>このキルのような口内の器官が吸血のために進化した舌よ獲物を捕獲するとウーズはこの舌を食いつかせて体液を吸引する舌の先端表層には数百もの細かな牙があり一つ一つが別個に稼働この無数の牙で獲物の皮膚を切り裂き獲物の血液を体液を食らい尽くすのだ<音声>これはスキャグデッドと呼ばれる感染者の突然変異種だこのケースは通常より強いウイルス耐性を有する個体で発現するウイルスが通常より長時間かけて侵食した結果特殊な変異を遂げると考えられているその割合はおよそ1000人に1人ホントラッキーにも程がある残念ながらいえ幸運にもかしら彼の意識はない回路をつなぎ損ねた機械人形のように意味をなさぬ言葉を繰り返しつぶやき続けるだけだ耐久力は極めて高いレベルといえる肥大化した体表面が活動に必要な重要臓器の損傷を最小限に抑える効果をもたらしているのだ感染者の突然変異種のデータその2シークリーパーは文字通り彗星のクリーチャーである水中は彼女の独壇場だそうイブと呼ばれるシークリーパーへの変異は XX 型染色体保有の女性感染者の一部にのみ発現する水中を忍び寄ったシークリーパーはウイルスの影響で増殖した6本の腕で獲物を捕獲し体全体で接触する彼女の抱擁から逃れる術は皆無水中に潜むシークリーパーの存在を見分けることは難しいだがバイオスケナーを駆使すればその存在をパーカール・チアーニ FBC 上がりのエージェントよじゃああなたと同じね彼は FBC からの同僚だから良くも悪くもって意味でよく知ってる彼は頑固で融通きかなくて不適切な表現でごめんなさいはっきり言っちゃえばクソ不器よなるほどそれで彼はなぜ BSAA にパーカーが BSAA に移籍したのは1年前きっかけはもうお分かりとは思いますがテラグリジアパニックが原因よ現場で下されたあの決定が FBC のメンツを守るためでもあった事実を否定できず彼は悩んでいた酒を浴び自分を失わせてやり過ごそうとしていた時期もあったでも彼がたどり着いた結論はより人々を守るための戦いをするため BSAA に移籍することだったの確かにクソ不器用ねそこが可愛いところでもあるんですけど本当にキース・ラムレイとクエント・ケッチャムこの二人は一緒の方が説明しやすいわ問題ないわワンセットでインドアとアウトドア思考派と行動派慎重派と大胆派彼らを理解するにはおよそ思いつく限りの正反対の対義語を並べてみてください情報分析を専門とし機械オタクのクエントと特殊傭兵部隊での戦歴を持ち実戦で鍛えたキース2人はいつも意見が合わず口喧嘩しているように見えるけど彼らが実力を最も発揮するのは2人を組ませた時互いの欠点を自然と補うと理想的なチームね BSAA 代表のクライブ・アール・オブライエン今回の作戦指揮は
彼が直接取っているわだからみんなちょっとピリピリしてる珍しいわね今まで彼が表立って指揮を取るなんてほとんどなかったはず彼は自分が目立つことを好まないの右手の行いは左手に知らせるなオブライエの口癖よまたいでん六章三節ね栄光を求める動機はそれ自体不純であるそれだけじゃない賢者は沈黙を貫くひょうひょうとした態度でかわし手の内は明かさない服装もラフでいつもだらしない感じだけど実はああ見えて老化なのよ出なければ BSAA を率いることは難しいわ確か彼はテラグリジアパニック時に BSAA で唯一現地派遣されていたはずね解決方法をめぐって FBC 側と確執があったとも聞いてるけどどうでしょうね少なくとも現場の指揮権はあくまで FBC 側にあったオブザーバーとしてのオブラインへの意見はほぼ無視されていたと言っていいわ FBC についても話してくれるええ合衆国の対バイオテロ部隊であるフェデラルバイオテロリズムコミッション通称 FBC の長官モルガン・ランズ・ディール初代長官にして現在に至るまで唯一の長官よつまり今回のミッションに関わるエージェントについて教えてほしいの主観的になって構わないうん感じたままでいいわクリス・レッドフィールド BSAA 設立時メンバーであるオリジナルイレブンの一人卓越した射撃能力と近接戦闘格闘術アメリカ空軍に在籍していたこともあり航空機の操縦技術も持ち合わせている彼とチームを組んだことはないわこのミッションが初めてよでも敵役だと思いません彼の背中を私が守り私の背中を彼が守るジェシカ無事かええクリス問題ないわまるでハリウッド映画のワンシーン次は彼の経歴について聞かせて<笑>了解クリスのバイオ兵器との戦いは1998年アンブレラ・アークレイ研究所で起こった T ウイルスの漏洩事件通称洋館事件に始まるラクーン市警察のスターズ時代ね連盟が重要視した彼の経歴の一つよ彼は現実のヒーローマントとマスクはしてないけど歴戦に次ぐ歴戦の末も彼は必ず生き残ったそしてその度に戦果を上げついにアンブレラを壊滅させたその経歴は BSAA 内でもトップクラス製薬企業連盟の一員として彼には感謝しているわ彼がアンブレラを追い詰めなかったら我々の問題はさらに大きくなっていただからこそ連盟は BSAA を組織しそのメンバーにクリスを招聘したとそうね私たちにはバイオテルに対することのできる組織が必要だった技術を有する者の責任としてねジル・バレンタイン彼女もオリジナルイレブンの一人でありクリス同様スターズ出身重火器の扱いに長け実戦もそつなくこなしキーピックで簡単な鍵ならこじ開けることもできる<笑>そうそう爆発物処理のスキルも持っていると聞きました正直ジルの優等生っぽいところはちょっと苦手でも彼女のスキルは尊敬に値すると思っています仕事は友達付き合いとは違うからそれで問題ないでしょいいわ成果を上げてくれれば我々として問題は何もないジル・バレンタインはラクーンシティ壊滅事件の数少ない生存者の一人なんでしょええ洋館事件後彼女はラクーンシティに残り独自調査を続けたラクーンシティ全体がバイオハザードに見舞われたのはその2ヶ月後よもっとも公式発表からは T ウイルスのことはきれいに抹消されていましたがあの当時バイオ兵器の存在が公になることは誰にとっても都合が悪かったのよ
誰にとってももちろんそれは政府にも適用される滅菌作戦と称して政府が発射したミサイルが街を消滅させたのは彼女がラクーンシティを脱出した直後彼女きっとあの光景を一生忘れることはできないと思うあなたも同じ経験をしたからそうねでも私はあの時無力感しか感じることができなかったわリーIn time, I shifted my position to STARS, a special forces unit of the Raccoon Police Department. Umbrella for crisis management reasons of their illegal bio-organic weapons development had many of its people working in the police department. I became the leader of STARS and conducted all sorts of intelligence activities for Umbrella. As I continued to serve, I devised my own plans and waited for the right moment to execute them. Then at last, Opportunity knocked. The freak murder incident that occurred in a forest near the mansion started it all. The mansion was Umbrella's secret bow laboratory, and it was clear that the in development T virus was the cause of the murder. Initially, Umbrella instructed me secretively to keep STARS out of the case, but with the heightened emotions of the citizens, STARS had no choice but to move in. That's when my next order was given. Dispatch STARS to the mansion, dispose of them, then report the situation to headquarters so that their combat with the bow could be used for data analysis, allowing Umbrella a comprehensive portrait of the bow's combat abilities. From the two STARS teams, I first pitched in the Bravo team. As expected, the top elite of STARS gave all they had and became useful sample data. Then following, I geared up the Alpha team to search and rescue the lost Bravo team. The members of the Alpha team also proved their worth, and as expected, many died. There were five survivors from the initial 11 STARS members. From the Alpha team were Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, and Barry Burton. And from the Bravo team were Rebecca Chambers and Enrico Marini. I don't know what happened. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. Time to begin executing my plans. In the midst of the whole affair, I could take Umbrella's ultimate bio organic weapon, the Tyrant, and join forces with an opposing corporation of Umbrella. To buy into that opposing corporation, I would need the actual combat data of the Tyrant. The surviving privileged members of STARS were just the perfect bait. I decided to have one of them play the Judas and draw them to the tyrant. That Judas was Barry. Barry! Barry was the strong truth and justice kind and cherished his family more than anything. His type is easy to manipulate. 
I simply took that most important thing away from him. My only miscalculation was the high potential of Chris and Jill. But with the family man, Barry, playing the Judas, the scheme went as planned. Then the winds turned oh, unexpectedly. Jill. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Listen, the stars are going to be finished soon. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. I had to eliminate Enrico, who found out what was behind it all. I used Barry to get to him. Enrico! After I successfully got rid of that nuisance, I awaited the sample specimen that Barry would bring to me in the tyrant's room. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Ah, oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? So you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. I injected the virus I obtained from Birkin in advance. If I made Umbrella believe I was dead, it made it far more convenient to sell myself to the opposing corporation. According to Birkin, the virus had profound effects. It would put my body in a state of temporary death. It would then bring me back to life with superhuman powers. Therefore, I unleashed an awesome tyrant from its slumber and let it attack me. Don't come this way! No! As my consciousness faded away, I was certain that the whole scheme would end in success. Never did I imagine that stars could slay the evil creation. I lost the tyrant and the plan I devised which cost me my humanity ended in failure. Now, anyone or anything that stood in my way would be terminated. It has been that way for a long time, and it always will be. At all costs, I had to make stars pay. Two months had passed since the mansion incident. To regain everything that I had lost in my new organization, I joined hands with Ada Wong, a female agent who was also sent to spy on Umbrella. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong? Ada Wong? I've heard that name before. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? I knew in my bones that the key developer was William Birkin. But what he didn't know was that Umbrella did not play games. 
with no anyone. One ever take you away. Eventually, Birkin would be assassinated, and the G-Virus would be in the hands of Umbrella. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. But the salvage team led by Hunk was ahead of us. By the time they got to Birkin, he had already injected himself with the G-Virus. He became his own creation and decimated them. Roger. What is this thing? The T-Virus carried by rats spread throughout Raccoon City, and Umbrella faced its worst scenario. The good citizens became zombies, and the city had headed for its devastating fate. Humans were no match against zombies. Chaos, Umbrella Europe applied a new type bow called Nemesis. The Nemesis would hunt down and destroy the surviving member of STARS, Jill. It became imperative that our organization also obtain the Nemesis data. Umbrella jettisoned a tyrant to take care of Leon and Claire, who were trying to unveil their secrets. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Then a new revelation. Birkin used to hide the findings of his studies in his daughter Sherry's pendant. It was very possible that the G-Virus was there. While Umbrella was busy with their cover-up, we had to capture Sherry before they did. I sent Ada undercover to seek the location of Sherry. I... The dead man, on the other hand, had to work in the shadows. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid! A spy's obligation and priority is in the mission, to carry out the mission like a machine without any emotional interference. Ada! Ada! Can you hear me? Through her interaction and involvement with Leon S. Kennedy, there had been an affection growing inside her. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. 
Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. My instincts sense danger. Something had to be done. Quickly. Leon! My instincts did not disappoint me. I've been waiting for you, Leon. So just hand over the G-Virus. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen! Even uh -oh. though Ada almost had her hands on the G-Virus, which Leon acquired from Sherry, that affection Ada. of hers drove her to her death. Don't give up! Goodbye. But she was still of some use. Ada! I had to save her life. So, this is what everyone's been dying for. My people hurried to retrieve the G-Virus that Leon threw away. Alpha team here. Mission accomplished. Roger. We'll rendezvous at the meeting point. But Hunk, the only survivor of Umbrella's salvage team, was there before us. left was to bring back Bertha, the monster, as the sample specimen and have him finish off Leon and Claire in order to obtain his combat data. Here. Use this! Game over. Although Birkin lost the battle to Leon and Claire, we succeeded in gathering samples of the G-Virus from his dead body. was a close one. That was pretty impressive back there, Sherry. It was nothing. I saw someone do that on TV once. Come on. We've got to move out. Now what's the problem? Is something following us? Hey, we still have a job to do. Let's go. Go? Oh, you can't mean. Chris, I have to find you. I guess we're all set. All right then, we're out of here. Oh no. It's here. In the morning, the government bombed Raccoon City in an attempt to stop further viral outbreak. This was, of course, their feigned reason. joined forces with an underground anti-umbrella organization. Sherry is safe in our hands. I would never underestimate Birkin. There's something about this little girl.